All right, back on the Young Turks. We've often talked about SOAP on this show. That's the Stop Online Piracy Act. Uh, it's supposed to target pirates online, but it doesn't. It targets the whole Internet. It's outrageous because any private corporation or the government can shut down any website. All you need is a link to another website that has some pirated material on it. They can shut down Google over that. All Google does is provide the search. It's ridiculous. In fact, all these major companies, Google, Yahoo, etc., are thinking of doing an Internet blackout because they're so outraged by this. And meanwhile, how much has the press covered it? Well, almost not at all. Media Matters did a search of MSNBC, Fox News, ABC, CBS, NBC on their evening broadcasts and found out that it has been covered a grand total of one time in prime time, okay, which is outrageous. Now, here's an interesting fact. When you look on the website of, uh, it's ironic that it's on a website, by the way, of the House uh, Judiciary Committee on who's supporting SOPA legislation, well, you look at this. Let's uh, read the list for you. AB ABC, CBS, Comcast, NBC Universal, that's NBC News, and MSNBC, Viacom, which is CBS, uh, News Corp, uh, which is Fox News, and Time Warner, which is CNN. What an amazing coincidence! Turns out the people who are backing SOPA are the ones not covering SOPA at all. If they were proud of what a good bill it was, wouldn't they be covering it? Or maybe they know exactly how terrible it is. That's why they're saying, shh. Don't talk about it at all. Well, let's bring in Eric Bowler from Media Matters to tell us more about this. Uh, Eric, uh, welcome to the show. We were just talking during Thanks. the break that uh, you've completed the hat trick here. <laughs> Been on all my shows now. <laughs> so, so uh, I let's keep following you around. <laughs> God bless your heart. Um, so, talk to me about this research. Uh, I, I love uh, what you guys did here. What did you look at, and what was the results? Give us a little bit more detail. Yeah, at Media Matters, Ben DeMiro took a look at this because, you know, we were reading about, you we were saying it's a very important piece of legislation. It's obviously media related. So we decided to uh, take a look at who was covering it. And we found out not many people were covering it at all, specifically not the television and not the primetime shows. And as you pointed out, the problem is their parent companies are the companies that are that are lobbying and trying to push this piece of legislation through. So there, there's a clear conflict of interest, and that's fine. You know, news companies always have to deal, often have to deal with these conflicts of interest. I mean, you know, uh, th they're part of a larger corporate entity, and there's going to be these conflicts. So if you have a conflict, you would you would think you'd go out of your way to tell everyone about the conflict and to report on it. In this case, unfortunately, what we've seen is is basically, uh, you know, there's been no coverage. I mean, to their credit, there has been some online on some of these same companies. They have websites, obviously news websites. They've been a little more willing to cover this controversy, and it is a controversy because it's a very sweeping piece of legislation. But on, on the more on the, on the more important primetime news, uh, basically nothing. Wolf Blitzer mentioned it once. I mean, and that 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 doesn't really cut it. Right, and you know, these major media companies are the ones that ask for the bill in the first place, especially the yeah. movie companies, the, the music companies, etc. So, you know, as you look at this and the numbers are so stark, do you think flat out is it on purpose that they're not covering it? Well, again, I mean, I don't think the, I don't think there were memos going out. I don't think there was a top-down edict. Look, the way this works is you don't become, you know, senior people at these major news organizations by not being smart and not being savvy. And who wants to be the person in that production meeting that raises their hand and say, "Hey, let's do a let's do an article, let's do a piece on this legislation, very controversial legislation. Let's air all the criticism about this legislation that our parent company is pushing." You don't want to be that person raising your hand. Uh, so people know where they don't want to step, and, and it's easier to do this. The sad part is this is a complete rerun of the previous administration, the previous decade, when the FCC was just about to vote on sweeping uh, deregulation of media ownership, uh, waiving all kinds of cross-ownership, cross, cross ownership. Michael Powell, the Bush uh, FCC. Uh, if you looked at the media coverage then, the exact same companies were lobbying for this uh, for these waivers, and the exact same companies would not cover that story. So the sad part is, this is deja vu, and it's the same problem. Yeah, I I know because I've been in those meetings, and I raised my <laughs> hand, and now I'm here. <laughs> so, all right, Eric Bold from Media Matters. Thank you so much for covering that important issue. Really appreciate it. And, it's not always easy to hold a feet to the fire of the major media guys either, and we appreciate that you guys stuck your neck out to do that. So, all right, I'll, all right, thank you, Eric. I'll see you soon. Yep, okay, absolutely.